guys welcome back to my channel so as you can see today I am in my kitchen today I'm going to be making some Biscoff uh, cookie butter cupcakes uh, but before we get started I just want to let you guys know a few things first just remember that I am NOT a professional baker I am in no way shape or form a professional and this is just the way I like to bake um, so I'm sorry if it's not completely 100% from scratch. Uh, one more thing is that beeping noise that you are hearing is my smoke detector battery has died. It started beeping this morning and my husband is not home to help me change it because I cannot reach it. Um, so I'm really sorry for the beeping sound. I just don't have any more time to make this video if I don't make it today. So again, I'm really sorry about the beeping. Okay, so today, um, like I said, I'm going to be making some cupcakes. I am just using a boxed cake mix because I'm giving these cupcakes to my neighbors as holiday uh, treats for them. And I was going to make uh, vanilla cupcakes from scratch, but I've never actually made vanilla cupcakes from scratch. And I didn't want them to turn out too terribly bad, so I decided to go the safe route and get a box of cake mix to make the cupcakes so that at least if the uh, buttercream icing that I'm going to make, which I've never made that before either, but I'm going to attempt that, if that doesn't turn out, at least they can scrape it up and eat the cakes. So I am going safe on the cake. Like I said, I am going to be making Biscoff cookie butter, um, buttercream ice, or yeah, yeah, buttercream icing, yeah, yeah. <laughs> My brain is fried. Uh, I'm going to be making Biscoff buttercream icing to go on top of the cupcakes, so I'm hoping that it turns out. Um, if you have never heard of Biscoff cookie butter, it is delicious. It also comes with, uh, or it's made from these, um, these little cookies. They are just little ginger snap cookies. Um, they're mainly in the UK, uh, but you can find them here. I found mine, that and this, at my local Walmart. So uh, it is can be found in America. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is look on, you know, if you're doing a boxed cake mix, look on the back of it. And mine says to heat my oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So let's do that. Okay, hopefully you can hear me over the oven preheating. Uh, but while that is preheating, I want to take my, um, my cookie, or not my cookie sheet, my cupcake uh, liner here and fill it with some cupcake liners. I have a variety of holiday uh, themed uh, cookie, or why do I keep saying cookie? Cupcake liners. So we will just open these and fill the uh, cupcake um, pan with them. I think I'm gonna do every other one, a different one pull those out. They have lots of different uh, kinds and according to my cake mix it makes um, 24 cupcakes which this pan makes 24 uh, cupcakes as well. I already have one of those. Now that we have all of our cupcake liners in, we will just again set this to the side until we have our mixture mixed. So the first thing we want to do is open this up. I'm going to need some scissors.
or a knife. I'm going to pull this out of the box and cut it open. And just pour it into our bowl. Maybe. Just maybe. And then we will take this and we will just put that back in there. And then according to this, I need one cup of water, which I have right here. We will pour that in. And then I need a half a cup of vegetable oil. Maybe. <laughs> it didn't want to let me in. Now we will just pour that in. Do do do. Right there. And then that goes in the bowl. Ooh, a little poppy. And then I need three eggs. Put my eggs here, and we will crack them without getting or trying to get any uh, shells into the cake mixture. A professional wouldn't do that. They would have cracked them into a bowl and then put them into the cake mixture. <laughs> I am going to be uh, a rebel today and do what they say not to do. And then we are going to mix it together with this handy dandy hand mixer. so you don't get all over the place at first. that is mixed all right now that is mixed I am going to set this to the side and just kind of scrape down the bowl make sure everything is incorporated so that nothing is there's no more powder or anything else just make sure everything is nice and mixed well together Shake it off a little bit, get all the excess off. Take a bunch of racket, you know. It's usually how it works, right? Set that there. And then, actually, we are going to move these over here. All right, and now we will start filling our uh, cupcake liners with the batter just have two spoons and I will just scoop it and fill them probably about two-thirds of the way now that should give me enough for every all of them if sometimes there's just not enough and that's okay I technically only need 16 cupcakes so if I don't fill all 24 then that's okay
right, now that we have our cupcake liners filled with batter, I am going to now put them into my 350 degree Fahrenheit oven for 15 minutes or until they are golden brown. And if I stick a knife in the center of one, that it will come out clean. So. All right, let's put these in the oven and remember to be sure not to burn yourself when placing these in the oven or taking them out of the oven. And then we will set a timer for 15 minutes. All right guys, I'm going to leave those in there to cook and I will see you guys when they are done. All right guys, I have now pulled them out of the oven. They actually had to cook for just a few more minutes. So according to the box, it was 12 to 17 minutes. So this batch took about 17 minutes to cook. Um, but now I just have them on a cooling rack to um, cool because I have to, they need to cool completely, like all the way. They can't even be warm uh, so that the butter doesn't melt when I make my buttercream icing. So I am just going to set these aside and let them cool down completely and then here in a little bit once they're cool I will start making the buttercream icing to ice on top of them. Alright guys so my cupcakes have completely cooled now and so now in a new bowl I am going to mix together my buttercream icing um, like I said before, I have not made buttercream icing, icing before, so this is going to be very interesting to attempt to do, so hopefully it turns out. Um, but according to my recipe I have on my phone, I need two sticks of uh, salted butter that has been softened, so it's just been sitting out. And uh, it just needs to be mixed with the hand mixer until it is light in color and is fluffy. Alright, so we will put the butter into the bowl. Maybe it'll come out. <laughs> well, come on. All right, there we go. And then we will just uh, takes about five minutes or so to get it to the texture that it needs to be. like it could use a few more minutes of whisking because you don't want to over mix it make it all Scrape the beaters down. It looks like it's pretty white and fluffy. So hopefully I mixed it good enough. And then that there for a second. And then we need to just 
just kind of scrape it down so it's all well incorporated here. And then we're going to slowly add in the powdered sugar into the bowl. Uh, very, very slowly so we don't make a huge mess. And so we will start doing that. And this is also has been sifted uh, into the bowl and then we'll just put a little bit in. It'll come out and we will mix it together and then just keep mixing it together until it's all incorporated into the butter. can add a few teaspoons of milk. Let's see, where is my teaspoon? There it is. Um, it's a little dry right now, so I'm going to add a little bit of milk so that it kind of loosens it up a little bit. So we can continue to add in the flour, or not the flour, but the sugar. Looks like flour, but it's sugar. I have a feeling I'm definitely going to make a mess with this. All right, we will add another half of that, and then we'll do the other half here in just one second. All right, that is all mixed in, and we will. Add a couple more teaspoons of milk and add the rest of the sugar in. Like so. Mix it all together. I told you I'd make a mess. seems to be mixed together. I just want to taste it, make sure. Mm. Tastes kind of buttery. All right, I think it might need just a smidge more. All right. I added just a smidge more powdered sugar, but I think because you're not supposed to over mix it, I'm just going to fold it in and see, because it was just a little buttery still. Let's get these scraped out as much as we can. I know I'm not using the greatest mixer in the world. Okay, I've made a huge mess. I'm just gonna fold that in because we are going to be adding the uh, cookie butter into it, so it will sweeten it up a little bit more and probably take away that buttery taste. I don't want to over mix it and it not be what I want it to be. Okay. And that seems to be okay. Let's mm. Yeah. That is definitely much better. Okay. Okay, now I am going to 
add in the ooh, add in the butter uh, the cookie butter into the icing and just take a few spoonfuls and just kind of gradually uh, see how much we need. I'm gonna add just a little bit more of this. I bought two of these, thinking I needed two of them, but that's okay. They're delicious on waffles and pancakes. Yes, yes. So don't you worry, I will be eating it. Okay, I'm gonna add another one more spoonful and then I think it'll be perfect. Again, we are just going to mush it up and fold it in. Make sure it's all incorporated. Into the icing. Lumps out. All right. Let me test it one more time. And we will see how delicious, it, delicious, delicious, delicious it is. Oh. That is heaven. That is absolutely heaven. That was delicious. All right, guys, I am going to get this somewhat cleaned up and uh, then we will get to decorating the cupcakes. You know what, guys? I just realized that I forgot the vanilla for the stuff and it'll probably make it taste better. So I am going to hurry and add in the vanilla and kind of just mix it really good with this um, just really quick so we don't over mix it I can't believe I forgot the um, vanilla I think I was just so excited about the cookie butter that I just was like I just want to get the cookie butter in there because it's delicious that's all there is to it two teaspoons Okay, so the recipe calls for two teaspoons of vanilla extract. And then we will just get that in there. Ooh. Oops. And hopefully that kind of helps the situation here. And we'll just mix it. Just a real quick mix and get that mixed in and then all right guys now let's test it one more time yes that is delicious absolutely delicious okay. all right now we can get to decorating the cupcakes. So I have here a piping bag and I am going to be using, I'm not sure what like numbers or anything this is. It's just a round tip um, nozzle for the 
piping bag. So we will just get this cut out so that we can uh, get to piping the icing onto the cupcakes. Let's see if that was good. I don't know. And uh, not just a smidge more off. And we will be okie dokie. Don't have the greatest scissors in the world. There we go. Nope. Okay, let's see if that works. Ah, ah. Much, much better. Now that we have our tip inside of our piping bag, we just need to roll this down so that we can gather the icing and put it into the piping bag. It's easier so you don't make a big mess. And these are pretty big piping bags too. All right, get a big old, maybe. Big old dollop of it. And you just stick it in there and scoop it out. a little bit more in there. Sweep it all out. Might as well just get it all in there. Or at least try to anyways. Without making a humongous mess. We'll see about that. making a weird noise. Oh, okay. Now that we have all of the um, icing into the bag, I want to make sure that it is working. All right, we are going to begin decorating very, very pretty cupcakes. And like I said before, I'm not a professional cupcake decorator or baker or anything like that. Going around in a circle, kind of pressing down so it's kind of flat on the cupcake. And just making some little point at the top. You know, nothing special. Nothing fancy. Because we will be putting uh, cookies on the top.
Alright guys, I'm just going to continue uh, decorating all of these cupcakes and I will see you when they are done. Alright guys, now that they are all, uh, have the icing on them, I just wanted to place some cookies on top. Okay, we are just going to take a cookie and somewhat break it in half and just place it into the buttercream icing, just like so. Lay the tray down here so you can see. And it's not the perfect cupcake, but it'll work. And then we'll do another one. And just place it in. Hopefully they stay in there where they're supposed to be. Never works out that way though. You never do what they're told. going to finish putting the rest of the cookies into the cupcakes and I will show you what they look like afterwards. Alright guys, they are all done and ready to be packaged and giving, given to my neighbors. Um, I will show you me packing a couple of them. But I gotta go give them to my neighbors tonight super excited about. So we're just gonna place two in a box like so and they come with these bags. Open them up here and carefully maybe we gotta fold it over. Get it into the bag here. Perfect. And we will just wrap it together. It also comes with little uh, twine and little gift tags that I will tell them that it is from my family for Christmas. On the gift tag it just says Merry Christmas. A little punch out the little hole here for that. And then get the twine. I also got some red and green kind too because I am going to um, Kind of make them different ones because there's definitely not enough in here for as many as I'm going to be doing so just cut that off string the little tag in maybe maybe I don't know it doesn't want to go in <laughs> to the thing. And then we will just tie it around the end here. Like so. Voila! You now have a little treat bag with two cupcakes inside of it. Just try to make sure you're not gouging the cupcakes like I am. But yeah, that is going to be my gifts for my neighbors, which I'm super excited about um, taking it to them tonight. Yeah, okay, so now that everything is done, I thought I would 
try one myself just to make sure that my neighbors don't think that I don't know how to bake anything because that wouldn't be good. You don't want to be the, the neighbor that gives out gross treats. So let's just see if it's delicious or not. Delicious. Very, very delicious. All right, guys, that is all for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I know it's kind of different and something that I don't normally do, but still, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And also, don't forget to go down and hit that subscribe button down below. And again, I'm really sorry about the beeping. I know it's probably been super annoying today. Uh, but before we go, uh, this will be the last video before Christmas. So I just want to say happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, whatever holiday it is that you celebrate. I hope that it is with your family and that you have a wonderful time and uh, but don't forget there is still two more videos for December and I will see you guys on Tuesday. Bye!